What's up, everyone? Welcome to another edition of Darren's Thoughts. My name's Darren Chetty. These are my thoughts coming to you from this uh, empty parking lot in Florida. Empty parking lot. I am uh, went to a show. <laughs> they went to a show. Nobody showed up. Man, this is the gamble of comedy. Some days are good. Some days uh, nobody shows up and got to roll with the punches, people. Uh, sometimes I think this is a completely delusional career, but look, there are ups and downs in every profession, right? I mean, look, sometimes you go to the <laughs> dentist office and nobody's there. I don't know. Sometimes it happens, right? You just kind of see. I was going to make a vlog earlier today, but I had no time. I was just working all day. And then and I was so excited to do this set tonight. I'm like working on stuff, come back to L.A., in January, February, got shows, putting some, gonna open for my buddy uh, early January. So, man, it sucks. It does suck, but it's okay. It's fine. That's not fine. It's not fine. Sometimes I do wonder, you know, Thurn, are you completely out of your mind? I was going through my own journal and I was like, man, am I questioning myself every <laughs> day of the week? Jesus Christ. And I think we can be our own worst enemy, right? Like we can, you know, just imagine a world where you wake up and everything's blissful, right? Everything's just great. And like sometimes, sometimes I look at my old uh, journal entries and I'm like, man, why was I bitching so much? Like, one, my mom was alive. Two, like I had some things going for me. It wasn't like, you know, perfect, but I had things going. So... Man, it's so easy to see the negative in life, right? And to, you know, I think that's where like our thoughts like really affect stuff, right? It can just taint everything. Um, I was in this uh, my writing class today and people were talking about um, their process. And I was like, somebody said... Uh, Somebody said, hey, you know, I like I like taking days off. It's good to just recharge. And I was like, I didn't agree. I was like, look, I think you got to be attack it like a job. It's a discipline, right? And I was like, that includes everybody around you too. Like, make sure the people around you are motivated. Like, don't be surrounded by losers, right? Like I said that, I was like, I, that's what I believe. I believe that because like in times like this, when you're like in an empty parking lot, you guys see this empty parking lot? Like, your mindset is the only thing you have to keep you going. Like, what possible reason is there for me to come back here tomorrow night? They were like, hey, come back tomorrow night. We'll have a show for sure. I just drove an hour. Like, really? I'm going to come back tomorrow night? But it's what I do, you know? Maybe you're a comic. Maybe that's what you do. If you don't love the journey, then why are you doing this? I mean, that's what I tell myself. I mean, who knows? Maybe, I don't know how long I'll be able to do this. Maybe, you know, <laughs> maybe something could happen tonight. Who knows? I mean, I am in a Florida parking lot. I mean, this is not the safest thing for me to do right now, vlog with this door open. But, but I don't know. I just feel like this is all part of it, right? There's ebbs and flows. And, and uh, when I was 19, 18, watching this comedian, I was like, man, I want to learn how to do this. And here I am. I've learned how to do it, right? Anything you put your mind to... You can learn. And I am living proof of that. At least I can say that, man. No shortcuts, people. No shortcuts. Anyways, I gotta get driving. I hope you guys have a great night. We'll talk soon. Take care.